Ready to get started with your new MSP430 USB launchpad? In this video, we'll show you a quick out-of-box demo to give you an idea of how easy it is to get started with your new launchpad. Wait! If you haven't seen it already, you can get a quick intro to the new launchpad hardware and all of the software tools available in the first video in this series. This sample code can also serve as a foundation of your own USB application code, helping you ramp to production faster. We'll demonstrate two USB device classes in a simple way. First, to apply power to your board, connect the USB cable from your launch pad to your computer. You may see a notice indicating your new hardware has been connected. You can open it and see that Windows or Mac has recognized this is a mass storage device. TI provides an API for mass storage class, or MSC. By clicking on the mass storage device, you'll find files pre-stored in the launchpad flash memory. The first file is an internet shortcut file. When you double-click this file, it opens the URL encapsulated inside the file in your default browser. In this example, the MSP430 USB launchpad tool folder opens. You can change the link in this file to test it out. With the other two files, we simulate a keyboard. Many times, you'll find that you have a common text that you enter often, like your shipping address, for example, or maybe a username. In the example shown, we've chosen hello and world, which you can edit to whatever you like. Here, we're showing another supported USB class, Human Interface Device, or HID. When we push the S1 and S2 buttons on the launch pad, the keystrokes in the files are sent to the host. You'll see, as I push the button, the text shows up wherever my cursor is on the editor window. This application is based on the MSP430 USB developers package. If you want to get serious about writing your own USB application, you can download it here. So what are you waiting for? Get started on your MSP430 USB application today. For more info, visit ti.com slash USB demo. Thanks for watching.